Hello everyone, this is another uh, the Photoshop Beginners tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this flag image on this brick wall and eventually we're going to have this final product. So it looks like yeah, the national flag is painted on the brick wall and then uh, it's kind of fading away. So this is the first one and also we're going to combine this image with this climber image. You see that? So on, the, uh, on this rock, national flag was painted with a texture and then um, uh, it looks kind of an old painting. Okay, so you can download all these images from the link I provided in the description. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button and set the notification for my latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so uh, as I showed you at the very beginning, uh, we're going to have this national flag on this brick wall. Okay, so the first thing is uh, we need to save this brick wall texture. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, the first, what we need to do is um, go to images menu and duplicate it. And then I'm going to name it as wall underscore bw black and white okay then now so we have two wall.jpg and wall underscore bw and this new one wall dot uh, underscore bw go to images menu change the mode to grayscale discard so now this is black and white now go to file save as on my computer Save this as wall.bw, wall underscore bw, not as a JPEG. Make sure your format is supposed to be Photoshop. Make sure you save as PSD file. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, now go back to your flag, select all, copy this. And we're going to paste it to the color version, the original version of this brick wall. Just paste it, Command V. So we have it. So we have two, two layers. One, the national flag on top and the brick wall on the bottom. Okay. Now on this brick wall, I mean yeah, the national flag layer. Now go to filters menu, distort and displace. Displace. Say OK. Open it. And then um, the displacement uh, option, the higher number will have the other more distortion. So maybe your default setting might be 10. Uh, just try 20 and say OK. Then please find that wall underscore bw.psd file. That is, see, here. OK, psd file. Okay, as you can see that you can't select any JPEG file, it must be PSD. Open it. See? Now that texture was applied to this national flag. But it still looks kind of a fuzzy and then it's not kind of a natural. So I select your layer, the national flag layer with the texture, and go to blend mode here. From the normal, choose the multiply. See? It is kind of blending to the background texture. Okay, but it looks kind of still too strong. So now we can adjust a little bit. So change, select the layer. Let me change the opacity value. Kind of a faded painting on the brick wall. Something like that. So you can control more. Maybe uh, if you want to add a more uh, adjustment layer. One, two, three, fourth button, and brightness and contrast, for example. Okay, I want to make it even darker or brighter. Less contrast or higher contrast, so you can control it. So I want to have the more uh, faded color, like that. Kind of old painting on a brick wall. Okay, so the first one is done. Now let's do the second one. Uh, let's have that uh, flag image 
which is this, onto this cliff. Okay, it's the same deal. So first the thing is, go to like as we did for the other brick wall thing, go to images menu and duplicate it. I'm going to uh, name it as a climber underscore BW. Okay, so this is the new one. And then like we did, go to images menu mode and change the mode to grayscale. Discard. And then file, save as, we're going to save onto my computer as a climber underscore bw dot psd, not jpeg, photoshop, on my desktop. Okay. That's it. So now go back to original climber image, this one. So first I need to decide where to have that uh, the flag image. As I showed you at the very beginning, we're going to have the uh, national flag painted on this rock. On this. Okay. So the best way is, please use a pen tool. And we're going to select. It doesn't have to be super accurate. Hold down the option. Cut the uh, handler. Just keep going. So I'm selecting that big wall i mean the uh, the rock on this kind of a uh, uh, peak of the mountain let me zoom in a little bit now you make sure you finish you complete your path at the point the anchor point where you began so you will see that little tiny circle right next to your pen tool so it is done don't worry about the on this path over this climber we will fix it and now open your path panel and go to drop down menu make selection no feather option to say okay so all this rock is selected now go to flag select all command a and copy command C edit and copy now back to climber make sure this rock is still selected now go to files menu no I'm sorry uh, edit menu paste special and paste into then that copied national flag will be pasting into that rock see so it looks kind of a little weird now before we do something zoom out like that then uh the mountain peak has some let's check the my layers it has a perspective but this national flag is just a flat so we're gonna match the perspective so um make sure you're selecting the top layer and go to edit menu transform and distort choose it now move this handler and trying to match the perspective of the flag matching to the rock like that maybe a little more maybe something like that Maybe a little more like that okay and if you're okay with that hit the return key and let me zoom in a little bit now we're gonna apply that texture same thing go to edit uh, filters menu distort displace and choose okay and choose Climber underscore bw dot psd, which is on my desktop. See that black and white version, and open. See, the rock texture is the apply to the flag. And like we did, change the mode blending mode from normal 
to multiply. See? And then change the opacity value. So it is kind of old and then I painted the national flag on this rock. If you want, like we did, you can add a new adjustment layer, brightness and contrast or curves, anything you like. And we can control it. Darker, brighter, less or more contrast level. Once you're okay, I'm okay. But the problem is this poor guy, this climber, uh, the national flag was painted over him, so which is not good. So we're going to rescue him. So we'll go back to the background layer. Here. On this background layer, just to select this climber, use the, your pen tool. So I'm going to do that from here and I'm going to uh, go around him. Now I'm closing uh, my path. You see that little tiny circle next to the pen tool? Okay, still on my background layer. Now back to path panel. Drop down menu, make selection. No feather. Now copy and paste the special paste in place. So we have that guy. And this guy is here, move it up to the very top. See? So let me zoom out. So now this climber is climbing the pick rock uh, with the um, uh, national flags painted. Okay, th this way that you can apply the, any logo or any symbol on any texture. Alright, so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And then um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.